1994. <laughs> I wrote that song in Hilton Head Island. I had moved down there. I left college and moved down to this little resort town on the coast of South Carolina. Took all the gigs nobody wanted. I would play anywhere. I want to, I'm going to actually back that story up and tell on myself a little bit. Every time I tell that story, I always say I left college like it was my idea. <laughs> but that's just not the truth. <laughs> the truth is, the University of South Carolina and I discovered we had nothing to offer each other. <laughs> anyway, uh, I'm living in Hilton Head and playing all the places nobody wanted to play. And there was usually one dude that would show up at my shows named L.G. Stover. <laughs> L.G. used to cook barbecue out on High Tech, High, Highway 278, like going into Hilton Head, you know. And had his old pickup truck and a big barbecue smoker. And he was so good at cooking barbecue that when President Clinton would visit the island, he would send for L.G. <laughs> this beautiful moment where LG's old pickup trunk and trailer was flanked by Secret Service vehicles. <laughs> <laughs> she went to feed the president. But LG and I got to be pretty good friends, and he invited me over to his house one Saturday morning, and I couldn't wait to see where he lived. But I got there, and I wasn't sure if I had it right, because he lived in this big house overlooking a marsh in Bluffton. <coughs> big garage full of perfectly restored cars. He had like a 1965 Mercedes convertible, perfectly restored. And I'm walking around this big house with him and I was like, LG man, barbecue's been good to you. <laughs> He's like, no boy, barbecue. Barbecue's a hobby. And then he showed me his platinum records. It turned out that LG was one of the songwriters and producers of a little album called What's Going On by Marvin Gaye. <laughs> <laughs> Barbecue is just a hobby. <laughs> <laughs> and our relationship changed completely that day, as a matter of fact. He became kind of a coach for me. You know, I'd go over to his house and play him whatever song I was working on. <coughs> play it for him, he'd go, no, no, no. I don't believe you. I don't believe what you're singing to me. Because you gotta want it! You gotta want it. <laughs> and his wife would yell down from upstairs, LG, leave that little white boy alone! <laughs> it was awesome. I'm sorry to tell y'all though, a couple of years ago, God decided he needed better barbecue. <laughs> he called old LG home. He's up there having fun, I'm absolutely sure of it. No, no, Hendrix, play it again. Thank 
your life Big in signs Don't put on this way With brutality Just talk to me So we can see Thank you. 